Hello, and welcome back to VGM and more Dream Daddy, everybody. Welcome, everybody. We're back with more mediation. <laughs> and these two hooligans. <laughs> these two pieces are <laughs> who keeps getting into Paco! suspension. <laughs> anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I am going I to hold you down and wash your mouth out with soap. Please don't. I've done that. That's been done to Taco before. <laughs> Please no. Dude, I'm going to do it again. You're going to do it again. And, and all, with, an all, it. with an all-natural protein-based soap. Oh, I see. <laughs> you wash it right out. It will. <laughs> Anyway, yes, well. anyways, back to uh to to, to our mediation here. Uh, Your dream daddy. Now that Taco has caused dating. me to have to censor this episode, since she I'm swore sorry. in the first minute. I'm sorry. You forgot. You forget a lot. <laughs> Look, Taco doesn't usually have to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> You, you would think me getting onto you so many times would cause you to remember. You'd think. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> I won't have to resort to physical pun punishment to get the lesson across. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, that's right. I got six fingers ready for your ass. Five across no. it, one right up it. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that save. I got six fingers for your ass. Five across it and one right up it. <laughs> one right up it. You will. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Damn. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Taco quick. Hopefully. <laughs> well, Hopefully I don't have more sneezes. Now that That'd everybody nice. is awake for the rest of the episode. Yes, congratulations, you're now awake. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're not driving. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody just swerved into a powerful. <laughs> hey, oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> <It's just crashed. laughs> I've caused many interstate highway accidents. There's Thank a, you. <laughs> there's a family of four dead now because of Taco Sneeze. <laughs> How do you feel, Taco? You proud of what you've done? Yes. They're dead. They're yes. dead because of you. Oh, God, the humanity. Oops. <laughs> Just oops. Fuck it. Oops, I guess. Oops, I guess. It will. I didn't know him, so who cares? <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. You know Taco so well. <laughs> well. That's not going to cause a twit longer rate later. Wait, what? <laughs> you, you just know there's somebody out there that's going to write a twit longer. Like, oh, dude, BGM is so insensitive. I, of course and we they are. Don't value, they don't value yes. human life at all. They, they're the absolute worst. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to keep watching religiously, but... I'm going to keep watching religiously, but... That's my favorite. But they upset me. <laughs> I mean, I'm mad, but I'm not going to stop watching. Of course. Why would anyone want to stop watching VGM? Come yeah, on. Because nobody actually cares if you're a shitty person on the internet. The internet. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <laughs> yep, yeah, there, there's only one thing that'll cause you to be de deplatformed, and that's being a PDF file. PDF file. Yes, PDF file. It's like a PDF file. <laughs> <Exactly>. But worse. <laughs> but worse. 
It's like the only thing that gets you deplatformed. Even just rumors of it will get you platform deplatformed, even if you're totally Pretty innocent. much. Pretty much. There, there's some of that going around right now. Yep. I don't, I don't really want to get too into it because I don't want this yeah. to be like a drama channel. But yeah. Cancel culture is a real thing, and it's stupid. It is absolutely stupid. I agree. We all head up the stairs and out of the school in tense silence. Intense silence? What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Intense silence? Intense silence. Intense silence yes. taco booty? I mean, what? <laughs> I was thinking you would go there. I was going to try and make it my, that joke myself. <laughs> Behold the power of my lance! We share the same brain cell. <laughs> we spend a lot of time on the internet. The brain rot has set in. Oh, absolutely. You you mean to tell me there was there wasn't brain rot at one point? <laughs> you... At one point, yes. At one point, I was blissfully unaware of the brain rot on the internet. Absolutely. As I did not really look at memes, I just played video games. <laughs> Lucian, Damon, and I all pile into my phone. <laughs> just what? what? Dragon was bad at video games. Just kidding. <laughs> wow. Look, I'm not the greatest on the show because I'm trying to make the funnies. All right. It's true. You're not wrong. I'm trying the to concentrate important. on several things at once. I have ADHD and a touch of the tism. Those the things do not mix well. <laughs> the tism, man. The Luci tism causes problems. It really does. <laughs> Lucian, Damon, and I all pile into my car and begin the drive home. Lucian immediately puts his hood up and stares out the window angrily. I'm not going to therapy again. Hmm. For what? <laughs> I know, son. It's entirely up to you whether you, whether or not you want to go. But I care about you, and I can see that you're struggling. So if you do decide that you would like to speak to a professional about your feelings, we can do that too. Maybe you can spend this week looking for a summer job, hmm? I know how much you want your own car. Can't believe Damien's keeping his cool. I'm impressed. Damien's... Damien's friggin' chat, dude, friggin'. <laughs> Damien's a good dad. Damien's doing pretty well here. Yeah, well, Damien's he should cool. be anyway. He, he, Damien's a really cool dude, friggin'. Yeah, tr true as a teenager, I probably wouldn't have cared so much about some of his stuff, but like, now that I'm older, I'm like, dude, he has a lot of cool shit. <laughs> yeah. He's a cool guy himself, like, yeah, he's pretty cool. Got a lot of cool shit. He's a cool dude himself. Like, and let's also not forget the fact that how did he afford half of his shit again? <laughs> right? The dude's gonna be a fucking loaded. <laughs> I, well, when you're a Transylvanian vampire that's been alive for hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would not. If he told me that, I would told us that. I would not be surprised. <laughs> right? I'd believe it. I I believe it. <laughs> Fine. I wouldn't say no. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. I love you, son. Hmm. Lucian continues staring out of the window. Love you, too. Aww. Oof. Oh, how nice. <laughs> he may be a little shit, but he knows his dad cares. It's true. And he may be a little shit. <laughs> That's a statement. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> Honestly, he knows his dad cares, and he appreciates that. Uh, he knows his dad's doing his best. It's true. Uh, it's he, true. He's a dumb kid, thinks he knows everything, but smart enough to know that his dad's doing his best and really cares about him, and is just, just trying to look out for him. Right? That, that's to cool. therapy, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we spend the rest of the drive in relative silence. The moment we pull into the driveway, Lucian hops out of the car, slams the door, and runs inside. Oh. I didn't expect to have that conversation in front of you. He and I have a lot to, we need to work out. But it's all right. And all things considered, Lucian's bricklaying was pretty good. 
so there's your silver lining. <laughs> that is that, yes. True story. <laughs> oh, you have to respond. Ooh. Uh, I really admire how you handled that. That's a good way of, yeah. That's, that's, like, that's a good, good thing to say. You were a lot more diplomatic with him than I would have been. Diplomatic's not the word I would have chosen for that, but, yeah. <laughs> eh, well. I mean, it works. <laughs> I just want what's best for him, and I don't think yelling at him would do either of us any favors. It rarely does. You're a good dad. Oh. I guess he really liked that. Ooh. See you yeah. around soon? I was figuring. Oh. <laughs> it would be my honor and my pleasure. Damien bows with a flourish. Classy. Oh. With a classic flourish. I come home to find Amanda curled up on the couch with a blanket watching TV. I plop down next to her. Ah, uh, uh, hell yeah. Yo! <laughs> if I remember Amanda's voice right. <laughs> what you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers Extreme Edition. Oh. I, oh, is I that is that a reference show. to, uh, freaking... I, I, don't, I don't remember what it's called. Fuck. There is a show called House Hunters. <laughs> no, there's House Hunters, yes. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about the tiny part, but uh, whatever. Again, this is, uh, you know, this is a, uh, you know, reimagined world, you know? Because, <laughs> I mean, come on, freaking the ice road trucking, truckers thing is a thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paranormal ice truckers. <laughs> The couple would screen bickers back and forth while standing in an extremely small house made out of recycled bottles. The tiny house hunting brothers watched them with bemused expressions, both of their heads touching yeah, this the low is, ceiling. This is, that is the freaking, is it house hunters? I don't remember. <laughs> with those, the, the two brothers. Gosh. Ugh. Yeah, it's exactly that. that. That's that's honestly also that's like literally how most house hunting shows go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> They're like fishing shows for some reason. You just can't help but watch. <laughs> you wanna do the wife? Um. I told you I wanted two bed, two bath, shabby chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a Whoa, dude. <laughs> it doesn't even have a yeah, bathroom. Uh, fuck that. I'm out immediately. Hey, what house doesn't have a bathroom? I'm supposed to use it. Like, dude, house? that's like number that's like number one need other than food. <laughs> yeah, it's like, if it doesn't have indoor plumbing, I'm out. Sorry. <laughs> True story. <laughs> but honey, the outhouse is only twenty yards away. It's not that bad. Yeah, I'd rather not go to an outhouse for the bathroom. Thank you. <laughs> I've done that before a little too many times. I'm good. <laughs> I've never used an outhouse, just porta potties. And they suck. Outhouses are more or less a combination of the two. Um, the ones I, the ones we had for uh, Yellowstone when I went to Yellowstone, they're, they were very clean. I will give them that. And that those are not bad. They were still pretty uh, porta potty. Like, well, like outhouses are like a mix of porta potty and yeah, <laughs> porta potty and actual. It's it's weird. It's it's a little weird to describe. <laughs> but eat. What? I'm not pooping outside, Greg. <laughs> Why don't they just get a regular sized house? <laughs> I meant to that. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a normal house, man. Yeah, <laughs> Fix it, all your problems. <laughs> just because you're tiny doesn't mean you have to live like a fucking Keebler elf. <laughs> Keebler elf, man. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, I... I don't know. <laughs> I forgot what voice I gave her, but whatever. <laughs> How'd the afternoon tea go? That's fine. It got strange. We had to go to the school and pick up Lucian since he tried to... He lured Ernest down to the cellar with a promise of vintage... Fine vintage, and then tried to brick him into a wall, right? How did you know that? Has everyone read this story except for me? 
Yeah, pretty much. I feel that way, too. <laughs> Lucian livestreamed the entire thing. Of course he fucking did. He's gonna make money off this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Course he live streamed. It. That's great. <laughs> of course he live streamed. Did, I imagine did, I would be I, against as much as accident. he is a little as much as he is a little shit. The man is thinking. The man knows. Right? He knows. He's not stupid. <laughs> He's certainly not stupid. This is this. It's although, gonna get him. Although quite again, that's going probably on against it. TOS. It might be. Well, it would have been <laughs> at least. <laughs> Had he succeeded. Had well, he succeeded. Did fight, so if the fight was captured on live stream, that was probably against yeah. TOS too. Oh, I, well. I think to stream fighting, it has to be like an official, like licensed event. True. True. This entire day is beyond me. But otherwise, Damn. it was a fun day. That Damien guy is a character, but he's really good company and a surprisingly diplomatic dad. Again, a weird choice of word, anyway. I dig his style. <laughs> you know what? Don't we? Me too. <laughs> it's like I was gonna say, yeah, absolutely. Whistle while you work. I'm good. I'd rather not. Date complete. We got dad points! Wow. Oh! Hell yes! Woo! Stars, this... Never in a million moons have I had a date such as exquisite as this one. Dear Lord, the voice acting. That was actually all right, yeah. I was way off on the voice! That was nothing That's... like... like That's the okay. Voice That's okay. <laughs> I didn't even know we had voice acting in this. Oh, dear Lord. There's been a little bit, but not much. Like the little, little, the little quips or whatnot, but like, yeah. Yeah, I haven't really it's listened to his voice a whole lot. Bang. Amontillado. Yes. Poe. What, what is all this? Useless bars that mean something, supposedly. I, I guess. I, I almost maxed out bat. Whatever the fuck that means. Bat. It's a it's a vampire thing. Bat Come on, points, don't you know? It's a vampire. Batty points. Batty points, you live. <laughs> Does this score mean? Does it this mean anything? I don't know. I'm confused. Anyway. I'm, I'm confused, too. Don't worry. Interview with what the is vampire. our next day going to bring? <laughs> Let's find out. My date out. with the vampire. My date with the president's daughter. Sorry. <laughs> While I'm doing my, my afternoon now, word jumbles, I hear the mail truck <laughs> pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got wow. any coupons today. Yeah, coupons. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like as a kid, I know, I know, I know, as a kid and a teenager, I was like, eh, coupons, ugh. I was, but I was, I was, I was like, yeah, I assume... coupons, cheaper crap. <laughs> well, as, well, yeah, I didn't have to there worry too much about use? money at the time. So, at the time, I didn't have to worry about money. But as a like, as I was getting to the end of my teenage years, and finally as an adult, I'm like, dude, coupons are fucking amazing. <laughs> I really admire like actual couponers that like oh like get, actually like, like hundreds of coupons and like organize yeah. cut them all out organize them and then they like I go shopping that. and they as, get like as a, five as a, parts of crap and then have to like pay nothing or the store ends up owing them yes like that's I admire really that, impressive that is impressive will not lie because you know fucking like yeah if you if you do that freaking like it's definitely worth the, 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 worth doing. <laughs> As a kid, I thought it was boring, and I didn't want to do it. Well, I wouldn't want to do it. We never really did, but I never would have wanted to do that. But as an adult, I'm like, mad respect, man. Holy fuck! <laughs> right? Free just shit is nice. <laughs> exactly. Just imagine how much money you have for like other stuff if you actually invest in couponing and every time you go to the store you load up for like three months worth of stuff but only pay like a few bucks if anything yeah exactly just like <laughs> dude it's, it's, it's very impressive it's very absolutely the nice male person slides a couple letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot 
It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. That's what she said. It will. <laughs> hey, my coupons! I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm? I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? That's how, that's, what, that's how I feel whenever my mom calls or my brother. I'm like, he's probably got headphones on. <laughs> right? <laughs> she yells through the door. What? <laughs> I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. It's a constant thing for my brother again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay. Just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Hey. Immediately, Immediately opens door. door. Open. <laughs> Immediately opens door. Horn Institute. I almost read that as horny. <laughs> <laughs> horny Institute for the Arts? <laughs> horny oh, well. Institute for the Arts? <laughs> yes, Horny Institute for the Arts. I mean, if you know your arts, right. it's not really <laughs> off. It's not that off. I mean, Say, that, that sounds like the art school for uh, Twitter artists. <laughs> Twitter artists. Um, most artists I know, actually, so. <laughs> Most. Oh, that's Not all, taco but lewd. most. Taco is lewd, and Taco knows lewd friends. <laughs> like Kumi. <laughs> There's a lot of... I mean, there if you're busy, I can come back. Yes. Father, please! <laughs> I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. <laughs> that's probably bad for your teeth. I don't care! <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna eat this paper. <laughs> she just rips into it like a rabid bastard. Just like a fucking gremlin. <laughs> what do you think she is? She shakes her head violently. <laughs> just like, what do you think she is? She's absolutely 100% gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess so. I... She just she suddenly grows like freaking two feet shorter <laughs> and starts foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Big ol' ears. <laughs> she doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of the envelope. She pulls out a letter. Says, <laughs> this is a, this is an Aaron thing to do. <laughs> yeah, <right>. oh. <laughs> and... The suspense is killing We We've seen ten minute power hour, we know. <laughs> this is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. Hmm. Uh, I can't believe this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, honey. Oh no. It's okay if you didn't. Yeah. I got it! Sorry. <laughs> I know it's figuring. Fucking years. <laughs> That's the point where. You, you know, this was the episode we woke everyone up on, right? <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> also, it's we gotta continue ridiculous. waking people up. We gotta keep people awake enough to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Crash that family of four. <laughs> Crash that family of four. Mm. <laughs> Get the whole family in on this death. I mean, what? <laughs> also, totally predictable. I knew they were gonna do that. That, that is like hey, the oldest I... thing in the book. It is. It's a classic kid thing to do anyway, so. Oh, yeah. Oh? It's 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 not just writing. It's just something they would do. I got it. Anyway, <laughs> Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big Aww. hug. Congrats, that's... sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Dude, yeah, I would do that too. Oh my god! I can't. I really can't believe I got in. Well, yeah, you're a good artist. You get in. It's well, how it works. <laughs> and if you don't, you start a world war. Hey, it's just that if you don't, you, If you don't, you start a world war. <laughs> you have a terrible mustache. <laughs> well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview. And your photography is incredible. Aww. Oh, yeah, she's going in for photography. I forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive, 
and it's so far away. Don't you have a scholarship, girl? <laughs> right? Just think for a moment. <laughs> HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Hmm. Oh, I didn't let you read that. Oh, sorry, you're you're fine. Okay. Doc is too busy playing H games on her second monitor to pay What? Never. To Never. Absolutely not. I don't know what you would ever think that. <laughs> if that's not any indication that I hit the nail on the head. What? Never. <laughs> of course. Amanda hugs me again. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie. We're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice. Whatever you want. Wherever. I, I don't like that smile. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our- Oh, hell yes! Nearby food truck. Hey. Yes! You, you want to talk about the origin of street tacos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Taco Bell uh, just came out with uh, these uh, street taco things. They're oh. really fucking good. I need I, I need to go to Taco Bell at some point then. They Fuck. are really fucking good. Hell yes. But as we said, taco is a street taco. <laughs> you could have anyway. chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Hey, sometimes the cheap shit you got a lot as a kid is just what you want, man. Right? <laughs> sometimes it's the best food in the fucking world. <laughs> just saying. Please, Dad, you know I'm a single gal. A simple gal. She is single, but... <laughs> just, just give me a Rita with a view. When did this game come out? Are you 18 now, Amanda? <laughs> she might be. Like, marry me. <laughs> marry me. As long as you're over 18. Rita with a view. Mm. Like, I mean, I, I'm, that, I'm with her too, that, that's man. That's perfect. That, that's right up my alley. I love that. Just get a burrito. Go out for a walk, dude. You're, you're, you're speaking to me too. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, like, one, I love burritos. They're one of my favorite things. To burritos are so good. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And two, look at this view. Are you kidding me? Come on. Pretty much. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. Wait, I lost track oh, of one. Ships. Where, where did it go? Oh, okay, it's, it's go? listing lazily to the left. It's <laughs> listing lazily to the left. <laughs> it might, it might capsize. <laughs> wow, this guy's really got some moves. <laughs> this guy's got some moves. It actually starts sinking. You're just like, oh, oh no. <laughs> you, have you ever seen the Star Wars episodes of Family Guy? I've not. I've, I've, I've heard uh, of them a little that, bit. Though. That's what the reference was. It's just... one of those. It was like uh, when Han... I was I was never allowed to watch Family Guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, damn it! Hey, there's one. Part I also wasn't allowed uh, to watch Simpsons either. So, uh, 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 Peter was Han Solo, and it was the part where they're like in the Millennium Falcon, escaping the uh, Empire, and Han's like, uh, "Hold on, I still got a few tricks." up my sleeve and he and, and and this is in the movie too he just kind of like lists lazily to the left <laughs> and then <laughs> Lois who's playing um Leia it, it's just like it, you, you didn't really do anything you just listed lazily to the left it, and then it cuts to the guys in like the, the command <laughs> center of like the Death Star it, like, where did he go? There he is. He's listening lazily to the left. Wow, this guy's got some moves. <laughs> wow, this guy's got some moves. <laughs> he cracked me up. Cracking me up too, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the best best star pilot in the galaxy lists lazily to the left. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh it's my so gosh! I, I need to show you a thing about Star Wars too, by the way, because it's freaking the best, best description ever. Freaking, because it's 
Because it's explaining how Han is just randomly in here, and then, like, like relationship-wise to Vader, aka Anakin, um, freaking, like, as they're going, when they get to the Death Star, like, freaking, yeah, I know, spoilers, but, you know, freaking. <laughs> how, how dare you spoil, like, a 30-year-old movie, Taco? How dare I spoil? Spoil a thirty-year-old movie and its entire franchise. I mean, <laughs> actually, well, actually, more than that. The, the first three came out before I was born. I'm thirty-three. Oh dear lord! <laughs> dear lord! So old. Anyway, um, as I was saying, freaking yeah, it's explaining how relationship-wise, like freaking Hans driving all these peeps to the Death Star, being freaking Vader's son, Va Vader. <laughs> Literal Obi Wan Kenobi back from the dead, freaking Chewie. <laughs> Even Chewie's somewhat related to Anakin in a way, like like he's met Chewie. Yeah. I believe once or twice before. So like Chewie's still relatable, freaking like all these people have some sort of history with for, with Anakin. And then there's Han. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part is it explains the very end of the first movie. It's just like, and then said said unknown person comes in, basically freaking shoots you in the ass. You, the best star pilot, starfighter pilot the galaxy has seen, and you proceed to get shot in the ass by this unknown guy, <laughs> and the equivalent of a freaking modif heavily modified freaking uh, eighteen wheel. <laughs> Semi truck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and yeah, I forget it. It's just like Anakin's thoughts was probably like, who the fuck is the guy in the vest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Anyway. Um, so, hey guys, guess what? Oh. We're gonna find out more about Amanda stuff next time on VGM. Oh, next time we'll be Sad here. Time. As, as, as we, we got wrapped up in Star Wars. I'm so sorry. We had to, I had to explain that. <laughs> it's so funny because it's just like, who the F was the guy in the vest? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think his name was Hugo. His name was Hugo? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next time on VGM, everybody. Bye. Bye.